Welcome to Michelle and Company, the show where we get to sit down with some of Kansas's best business owners and businesses and tell you exactly what they're doing in your communities. Well, a good glass of wine tells a story, and I can't wait for you to hear the story that's coming up next from Wildwood Cellars, right here in Mulvane, Kansas. We are here today with Mary Bauman, and you're here from Wildwood Cellars. Tell us the story of Wildwood Cellars. How did you start? Where can people find you? My brother and I started it over 22 years ago. Wow. <laughs> we did it in the middle of Mulvane to begin with because our parents had been married there. I was born there and all, and it was just a really nice little rural community right close sure. to where we were raising. We wanted to raise our kids. Um, in that area sure, and he sure. wanted to bring his back from Pennsylvania and raise them with the values that we grew up with on a Kansas farm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, we were trying to make the family ranch pay and <laughs> we were trying to <laughs> find something to involve our families and the community and all sure. in and so we have actually uh, done a lot in 22 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have become the largest, most awarded winery in Kansas. Wow. We've won almost 600 international awards now. We've also won some very prestigious titles, sure. and uh, we've won Best Non-Grape Wine in North and Latin America. We, wow. This wine was the official wine of the 2002 Winter Olympic Village back Man. then, <laughs> and it's uh, we've won so many. I can't even tell you. There's just a few of them in front of us. I know. You brought the spread um, today, and it's just we, amazing. We right here in Kansas. <laughs> we couldn't begin to do it. Anyway, oh, yeah. we... Uh, We've evolved a lot. We burned down in the original place in the middle oh, of Mulvane, and we ended up moving out to what's actually rural Peck, I guess. Oh, but wow. it's, uh, okay. we're right next to the Mulvane Turnpike exit now, and sure. we've gone from about 2,500 square feet to about 28,000 square feet. Wow. <laughs> and <Yeah>. we have <laughs> four locations in Kansas, as well as uh, my niece has one in Illinois now. Wonderful. We have the main winery right off the Turnpike exit at Mulvane, of mm -hmm. course, and we do tours, we do private wine tasting parties, we do, and I will say, wine tasting is free in Kansas. Oh, I love that. And so at, <laughs> I'll any, be there. <laughs> at any of our locations, you can try up to five wines free, wow, anytime. And wonderful. we have I, close to 50 to choose from. So let's talk about your wines. Tell from me. From the driest to the sweetest, yeah, whatever yeah. you want, we got it. Tell me about some of your um, best wines, what you, what you well, do. Well, I'm a dry drinker, and I like a smooth dry. Sure. And so I personally like our Dry Reserve Elderberry and our uh, Chardonnay and our Treminet. Our oh, Treminet yeah. was Treminet of the Year in uh, international competition last year. Uh, we have Strawberry Rhubarb Pie wine. Oh, it wow. Was, that was a double gold winner, not just a novelty. Man. And we have we have fruit and berry wines made from the real fruits and berries, not flavored. Wow. And we also have, of all things, jalapeno wine. <laughs> Anybody wants oh, man. hot That's a new wine. one. <laughs> this stuff is like, it's fabulous to cook with. Oh, is it spicy? Is oh, it? yeah, it's pure jalapeno. Wow. And it's, uh, people say, is that a grape wine with jalapeno flavor? <laughs> no, that's made from jalapenos. Wow. Anyway, it's fantastic wine to cook with and uh, come by and sample. We're in Wichita at the northeast corner of Maple and Ridge Road in the oh, Maple cool. Ridge okay. Shopping Center. We're on I-70 at Me Paxico exit 333. And we're now just opened in Overland Park, Kansas, too, on Man. Floyd Street. But we're a lot of fun. And yeah. You'll yeah. find up to four generations there any time. Oh, that's wonderful. We also have a fantastic venue for meetings. Yeah, tell me about that. I was looking at some pictures, and it looks beautiful. Well, It'll hold up to 250 people, and you can have an entire wedding there for under 2,500 bucks. And wow. we have a, we well, that's have a sound deal. systems, <laughs> lighting systems. We have a dressing room. We have kegerator. We have, I mean, it's fantastic. Our venues, wow. and we have a lot of meetings and things there sure, too. Sure. So and. We have a patio with a gazebo and a fountain that's all landscaped. And we have a small venue also for those that want to have something small. So give us a call at Wildwood Cellars and come by and see us in any of our locations. And I did bring something for you to try this morning. This oh, yeah. Called, <laughs> and we don't use corks because they contain up to 380 mold spores and bacteria as they Ooh, grow in nature. Okay, I didn't and know that. <laughs> so a lot of people who say, I'm allergic to wine, they're actually allergic to the mold spores and bacteria. Really? This is a Stelvin closure. You just hold the whole thing in your hand, turn the bottle yeah, clockwise, yeah. and you can and try you some Lady Pearl. This is a strawberry Moscato blend. Strawberry Moscato. This is our new strawberry Moscato. This was last year's. Oh, oh my wow. gosh! You can really, we have, you can really smell yeah, the strawberry. We have here. a chocolate elderberry that we just brought out too, called Indulge Me. That is amazing. Oh, that's good. That's, <laughs> oh wow! You can really get the fresh strawberry in there. Uh, yeah, and it's the strawberry Man, season. Good. good time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, 
I am uh, leaving you a bottle of that. Oh, today. thank you. Just for you. You win the best it. guest award. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Mary, uh, before we're done, are there any um, opportunities for community or volunteers to come in and help, get um, involved, be a part of the? the no, wonderful? we can't do that because sure, of laws sure. in the state. Uh, sure. We would like to do that. But you have events and wine we tastings. We do have. That's true. We have yeah. events and wine tastings, and of course, we have our elderberry oh, concentrate I love that, that everybody yep. knows about. And I've been taking for 22 years. Yeah. And this is a health product that has now gone out all across the country. And oh, we are officially it. kosher. Oh, so <laughs> there our, we go. Our elderberry wines are now kosher, too. But wow. we are so much more than elderberry. Come by and see yeah, us and try obviously. it. <laughs> and if you're looking for homemade jellies and old-fashioned stuff, we have those, too. Really? We still do that down there. Now, is that at all your locations or just the, uh, the main yeah, one? Well, they're sold at all of them, but okay. we make them at the main one. And okay. everything we do is made right here in Kansas oh, in our wonderful. main winery. I love it. So tell people your hours and where okay. when they can come um, in and visit. We are open at the main winery from 9 to 6, Monday through Saturday, one to, and 1 to 5 on Sunday. We're okay. open at, uh, at Maple and Ridge at, uh, I believe most of the other locations are 10 to 6, Monday through Saturday, okay. and uh, 1 to 5 on Sunday. Perfect. So lots of different times to come and yes. sample every good thing that you have. <laughs> you bet. Anytime you can. That's the that's our motto. You can try before you buy at Wildwood Cellars. I like it. <laughs> that's a that? good <laughs> motto. Well, Mary, thank you so much for coming oh, on the show today. It's always fun. And thank you for the little gift. <laughs> Enjoy it. It looks like you'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Four kids. I need it. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about Wildwood Cellars and Winery, pay them a visit, you won't be disappointed.